guys, it's Rob here from Dodge and Fusky and for PluginBoutique.com. Um, today I'm going to be doing a very quick look at Raw by Rob Papen. Uh, now, it's the latest uh, synth from those guys. It's kind of designed to uh, kind of appeal to kind of EDM, heavy kind of abrasive music producers, I guess mainly, hence the name. Uh, it's pretty versatile. I'm going to go through the features uh, and show you a few quick demos first. Um, as usual, this isn't going to be the world's deepest kind of manual into how everything works and bore you for hours but I just want to give you a quick idea of, of what it's good for. So I'm going to go through a couple of its samples that I've made uh, using a combination of factory presets and a few sounds that I've made myself. Uh, but I tried to focus on kind of using factory presets a lot just to give you a good idea of what the synth's good for straight out of the box. So first of all, got this kind of weird kind of dubstepy experimental thing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to quickly uh, go for a few examples and I'm going to come back and show you how I've used different things for different bits in it. So the second thing is a kind of tear out your drum and bass thing. Again, these are really simple things just to kind of show the sound of the synth off, really. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was uh, obviously just a few kind of sounds led with like a couple of drum loops out of Total Drum and Bass Volume 3, I think, sample packs, which which I've used for that. Uh, okay, and this is the final thing here. I just made a really quick uh, Deep House type thing. Again, just to kind of show off some diversity, really, and a little bit of automation on the built-in reverb. Again, I haven't used any external processing, really. Everything's just been kind of coming straight out of raw. Just to give you an idea of the sound. <laughs> Okay, so that, that's uh, kind of a few different sort of styles. Again, very quick demos. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of how uh, easy it is to get quick ideas out. Um, so I'm going to go through the first one first, this dubstep thing. Now, I've, I've used a few different combinations. So I've used, this one here was basically a factory preset. And I've just tweaked the filter settings from it a little bit. Um, there's a, a couple of other bits and bobs here. Um, this sound here uh, was made using a custom wavetable, which I'll show in a second. Um, I also used it to make the kick drum. So there's a kick drum, again, it was a factory preset, this one. Um, but this instance here. Uh, was using was using a kick drum which I've slightly tweaked, uh, added a bit of distortion to, so it's quite good for doing that kind of stuff as well. And then there was like a, a wind up kind of drum, the drum and bass bit that sounded like this. Again, that that was a factory preset. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of make uh, make a sound from scratch just to give you an idea of how the synth works. Um, it's pretty quick and intuitive. Uh, so I'm just going to add in an instance of raw here um, onto this instrument channel here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to initialize the preset. So I go for default preset, gives you a sign, you know, just like massive, anything else like that. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make a custom wavetable. So down here, uh, I'm going to draw in, I'm going to use a one and clear it, and I'm going to make just randomly experiment really. until I find something that I kind of like the rough sound of. Kind of like that slightly vocal sounding. And then I'm going to get a filter on it. And put like an envelope on it, I guess. And I'm going to use um, the, the raw control on this oscillator here. Um, kind of gives it, it does a lot of kind of um, interesting tonal variations to the sound without getting too too technical, like I said this isn't going to be the world's most technical manual on how it's used. Um, then there's all sorts of different stuff that you can do to the sound as well, so there's the, the kind of core two oscillators here, uh, obviously kind of things like um, uh, tuning, waveforms, what octave it's in, there's pulse width modulation, 
you know, usual kind of stuff. Um, it's the raw thing here that, that gives a lot of character. Um, there's also a XY pad here, which can, in, I'll show you one of the other sounds in a second, that can kind of modulate different fit features. Um, there's a modulation matrix, a little bit like anyone that's used to using plugins like Zaysa Plus will, will understand this kind of concept. So say for example, I've got the filter envelope here. I could get this and I could then map it to, I don't know, pitch, something like that, if I want to make something interesting. And then the amount here. So um, obviously you've got your low threshold, your upper threshold, um, offset of, of where, where it would be offset from like kind of default values and then the amount here that you want it to be going by. So great for making effects. Um, speaking of effects, there's, there's a few built in ones, they're pretty good, there's like chorus, uh, there's reverbs and delays. So again, if you want to make weird effects noises. Good for, good for making like... If you want to make kind of like rave lasers. Really good for that. Um, anyway, like I say, um, this isn't the world's deepest um, video on how to how to use it, but I just wanted to give you an idea on its versatility. So I think people that make kind of bass music, EDM type stuff, or you know dubstep, drum and bass, uh, and house producers will feel right at home with it. Um, it's one of its strengths is its its core preset library. As I said, um, some of the sounds built in are, are really good. And um, yeah, if it, if you're if you're looking for something different and you're kind of getting tired of using all the rave films built into massive, um, but you're into that kind of music, then you know it's definitely worth a look. Anyway, hopefully this video has given you a good idea of some of the things that it's good at. And thanks for watching. This has been Rob from Dodge and Fusky and for PluggingMeTeak.com.